What an absolutely beautiful morning. We're about 10 minutes south of the town of Lander here in Wind River Country, Wyoming, on this great little high mountain stream. We're at about 7,500 feet elevation, and we're on this search this morning for browns and rainbows. I'm going to start with a dry fly with a Pertigan uh, nymph underneath uh, and see what happens on the day. It's first thing in the morning, the sun is high, it is um, getting warmer, and uh, today should be a fantastic day. We go. Whitefish. Now, I'm not concerned about catching a whitefish here out of this pool right away. Because if you're catching whitefish, that's where the trout live. Right? They often cohabitate together. And now I can get this guy out of the system and focus on catching brown trout. Still fun on fly. All right, little rainbow. Right at the tail of this little pool. Whoa! Little water walker. <laughs> Took the nymph right away, right at the tail. Now these are barbless, so you need to keep tight with them all the time. The water's freezing cold. It got down to about 39 degrees last night, just above freezing. There you go. Great fish to start the day. Okay, let him go. He's gone. This stream is much more wide open than the stream yesterday, making stealth even more important. The stream yesterday had mostly plunge pools that were very noisy. This noise allows you to get closer to the fish. Today, however, we have slower moving water with little sound. I have to make sure I don't make any noise or get too close. Fish have excellent hearing and sight. Notice I stay far back and cast to my target. There he is. All right. So this one took the nymph. I think this is the fish that came up and tried to eat the dry, missed it, and then a couple casts later came back and ate the nymph. Nice fish. So the adage does bear true, you know, you can catch all kinds of fish in lander and around lander. Some of them may be smaller, but the further you get out of town, the bigger the fish get. And this guy, that Pertagon fell out, is a great rainbow trout. How do you like that, huh? <laughs> Perfecto. All right, so here's the fly I'm using. It's a, uh, it's a George Hunker Special. It's a tungsten bead-headed nymph, Pertagon nymph. Uh, with a red collar, looks like it's got some copper um, or brownish uh, thread around the shank of the hook. Uh, barbless, and uh, so far, it's doing fantastic. The equipment used in this episode are nine foot four weights and nine foot five weight rods and reels. Softer rods such as medium bend are better suited for small streams. There's no need for long casts. The reels can be click and pull. No need for heavy duty drag systems as the reel is there mostly as a line holder. The majority of fish are brought in by stripping the line. Another little guy, right on the drop. Little brown trout, nice. Rainbows and browns. 
There we go. Oh, that's a great looking brown trout, man. Again, ate the nymph. All right, let's get this little dude unbuttoned. That fly just falls out, he's gone. Now, in talking with local guide George Hunker here, who uh, fishes out a lander, um, he's the one that turned me on to this little river. And uh, he said that you catch a lot of little fish, which is great fun on dries and, and with the dry dropper. He said, but you do have a chance at catching a big one, like a 20 inch brown trout or a 20 inch rainbow. That's what we're hoping for today, but if it doesn't come to fruition, it doesn't come to fruition, we're still having a blast. <laughs> lucky than good. I was just moving up into the pool and uh, I guess I moved my rod tip a little bit and this brown trout came and ate the nymph. A little deeper fish and best fish of the day. I did not catch this fish. This fish caught itself to be completely honest with you. I was moving to fix to try to make my next cast and this little dude, this nice fish for a small stream came and ate this nymph. And I'm here to tell you that this is the kind of fish that they make stickers out of, for sure. Are you kidding me? <laughs> all right, this makes it worth it. All the small fish you plow through, which are so fun to tie lock horns and be able to catch and release one of these brown trout. Let's take a look at this guy. How do you like that? gorgeous brown trout and high mountain streams just outside of Lander, Wyoming on a do-it-yourself. Just perfect. All right, let's let this guy go. 